you have been joined by this blessed marriage and holy crowning. So you should know each other's rights and submit yourselves to one another. And let each of you be faithful to the other. The wife does not have authority over her own body, but her husband does. And likewise, the husband does not have authority over his own body, but the wife does. Looking to my husband on our wedding day from Marina after so many tea countdowns, texts, uh, so many COVID obstacles, the day is here. But let's stop and thank God for all the time he's given us. Let's remember how good he is. The year is 2013. You're asking me to be your Valentine, but this time I'm wiser, I'm, I've grown, and I don't hesitate. I shout out, yes, I wish I knew then what I know now. My blessed son, Maggot, who is supported by the grace of the Holy Spirit, you are required to receive your wife, Marina, a pure soul and a full heart. Excel in doing all that is good for her. Have compassion on her and hasten to do what which will gladden her heart. Today, you are responsible for her instead of her parents. My whole world changed suddenly. To my wife on our wedding day, Marina, as I look at this paper and try to write down how I'm feeling, I know nothing I write can truly express the joy and happiness I'm currently feeling. The day has finally come where we can become one and I get to call you my wife. The person I want to experience life, start a family, and grow old with. Your love makes me feel at home and at peace. I thank God for blessing me with more than I could have ever asked for in a life. That same 2013 love would blossom into the most unconditional, God-fearing love that I am so understanding of. Look at us now. It's 2022, and I get to experience a love that keeps me at peace. day goes by where I don't see and get reminded of just how amazing and strong of a person you are. From constantly pushing me to work on my relationship with God to pushing me to be a better person, I don't deserve you and I'm grateful that he puts such a strong, beautiful soul in my life. God has truly given me the perfect person. I've been trying hard to die upon my loosened and parts together from a distance never seem so hard but you and I keep dancing in the dark in the dark we could sleep two thousand miles apart hello with the knees oh no. Unconditional love makes me feel so warm and happy. I love you more than anything in this world, and I hope to be able to make you even a fraction of how happy you make me. Blessed daughter Marina, and happy bride, you have heard what was commanded of your husband, so you are required to honor and respect him, so you must receive him with joy and cheer. Do not frown in his face. Do not neglect any of his rights upon you and fear God in all matters with him. Because God commanded you to submit to him and ordered you to obey him as your parents. 
And the greatest blessing in life is that I get to do it with you. From today, I get to wake up to your warm smile, your heart that is always eager to listen. Thank you for being my tribe. I love you. To the moon and back, you are my person. And today, I finally get to call this beautiful soul my wife and the best thing to ever happen to me. I love you, Marina, forever and always. Your future loving husband, Megan.